Be confident. Your horse needs a confident leader he can trust. When you are timid and lack confidence, your horse senses that and will lose respect for you as his leader. Confidence doesn't happen overnight, but you can first fake it till you make it. As you study and practice good horsemanship, your confidence will rise and so will your fun and safe experiences with your horse. Now we've done lead the side with the, with the stick and string, right? Now what we're gonna do is lead the side with the flag. We're gonna de do desensitizing with the flag during lead beside. A couple reasons why I like to do lead beside. One is to teach my horse to go along beside me and to lead well. And another is to get them to where I can desensitize them with something like a flag. So remember with lead beside, you're only gonna be holding one lead rope, right? You're just doing a kind of a smaller circle, so your lead rope is gonna be on the inside of your circle. The tail is gonna be on the inside of your circle. So if I'm going left, I've got the lead rope in my left hand, the flag in my right hand. Now, to start out, if you don't know whether your horse is okay with the flag or not, um, start out by doing the follow it principle. So I'm just gonna have him follow me and I'm gonna kind of wave this flag and see is he reactive to it? Is he okay with his flag? And, and Whiskey's a little reactive to it. <clears throat> but I'm gonna use this lead, I'm, I'm gonna use this follow it principle to get him to start to relax to it before I start waving it over the top of him. If your horse locks up when you're doing follow it, then you wanna pull him off balance. You can't get a horse to move their feet if they're locked up by pulling them straight forward, but you can get them to move their feet by pulling them off balance to the side. So I'm just waving this flag. Now as he starts to relax a little bit, I'm gonna approach him and retreat. Approach him and retreat. Approach and start to rub on him with it. I'm just convincing him that this flag isn't gonna hurt him and you see how the lead rope is doubled in my lead hand? That's because I don't want him stepping on it when I'm, lead, when I'm cause, asking him to follow it. Up to this point, when I asked you guys to do lead beside, I asked you to back him away from you and then send him along, right? You can do that, but if you're doing the follow it principle and, you're, and they're coming forward like this and then you want to start doing lead beside, I'm okay if you just position them like that. So the only time that I will actually tell people it's okay to back up a little bit and get out of their way as you're starting your, your lead beside is when you're desensitizing with either a flag or a plastic tarp or something. It's a lot easier to go from, from follow it and then I just kind of back out of the way and see if I can get them to start going forward. And once they do, now I go with them. Now I drop that lead rope. So I only have one lead rope in my hand. Now if he totally overreacts like that, I'm going to go back to follow it and then send him again. Now what I like to do when I first 
am doing lead beside with the flag desensitizing, I like to just wave that flag around a little. If he gets bothered by it, stop waving it. Reach up and touch him. If he gets bothered by it, stop touching him. Wave it. Touch him. Rub on him. Take it away. Now he's reacting to this, but I wanna, I'm going to just keep going with him. Now, I can use this flag as a sensitizing tool as well. That means getting him to move, right? That If I use it as my third cue, I point, cluck, and then wave my flag to say, hey, move your, move your feet. He'll start to know the difference because here I'm in neutral and I'm desensitizing. So neutral, he's going the speed and direction I want. And now I'm starting to desensitize, so I'm waving it. If he starts to overreact, just, just ease up on what you're doing or change to something a little easier. But I'm just going to keep waving it around, rubbing on him. Try to stay, keep that lead rope, the tail of your rope on the inside of your circle. I'm on his sight side, so the flag's on his sight side. When I take go over his back over here, that's his blind side. So just be careful as you approach his blind side. If you do it too much, too quickly, especially up near his head, he might jump away from that flag and jump right into your lap. So you just want to ease into that position. See how he's starting to relax to that flag? Rubbing on him. Once I'm, I've got him to where he's relatively comfortable being touched with this flag, now there's five different ways I want to wave this flag. Now you can wave it all kinds of different ways, but let's just focus on five different ways that kind of cover the basis of where to put the flag on top of him. So let's assume, I'm going to do it away from him. Let's assume he's on my right side and we're going in a left circle. So my first wave is going to be right to left. So that's his right to his left or my right to my left because I'm going parallel with him like this. And the flag actually comes behind my head and then over his back. Behind my head, over his back. This is how I, I like to wave it. It's just the most comfortable way to do it. Now, at first, you might have to just do li little waves like this and then rub him, retreat and rub him. L bigger waves, retreat and rub him. Bigger, and eventually, you can get nice big waves. I also want to talk about rhythm, okay? So rhythm is really important when you're teaching a horse to desensitize to stuff like this. You don't want to be all chaotic and arrhythmic, which is not without rhythm, or which is without rhythm. You want to be very rhythmic. So when I do it, I'm going to be smooth and rhythmic. Here, right, left, right, left, retreat and rub him. Right, left, right, left, right, left, retreat and rub him. As he gets better and, and understands it, that it's not going to hurt him, then I can go faster and harder, but still stay rhythmic. And eventually I can be arrhythmic or without rhythm, because what, what does nature do for us? It's always arrhythmic, right? There's cha it's chaotic. You're riding along and all of a sudden a bird flies out of the tree. So that's kind of like this flag doing that. But, event but first you want to teach them to be okay with it with rhythm. And then after they get really good at it, then you can do some arrhythmic stuff and kind of surprise them with it and see what they do. My second one is front to back over the top. So it's from his head to his tail over the top like this. The reason I'm doing this away from him is because he's not going to tolerate it very well. Okay, but it's front to back over the top. So first, right to left. Second, front to back. Third is you go up and down behind his butt like this. Remember to retreat and rub him. Up and down behind his butt, retreat and rub him. Then the fourth is going to be up and down by his shoulder and neck area. So just right there between the shoulders and the neck, right where they join. And then the, the fifth, did I say that was third or fourth? So it's, it's one is right to left, two is front to back over the top, three is up and down behind him, four is up and down by the shoulders, and five, you turn it to a ski pole position, and then you just go along the floor like this, or on the ground like this. Then you can do all kinds of modifications with that, right? Now, here's the general rule with as far as trotting or walking. How fast do you want them to go? It depends. If they're trotting because they're nervous about your flag, you want to work on getting them to walk. If they're, tr if they're walking because they're lazy and they don't care about your flag, you want them to trot. 
So do the opposite of what they have a natural tendency to do. Him, he's more likely to trot because he's nervous, and he's not really nervous there. Now I go to his other side, make sure that lead rope, the, the tail of the rope is on my, now I'm on a new side, new side, new brain, right? So you want to test him a little, rub on him. Make sure to get your lead beside first and then start desensitizing. But if your horse isn't good at lead beside with the stick, don't do this yet. Make sure they're good with the stick and he's pretty good. Okay, now let's start our waves. Left to right or right to left. And then if he gets a little bothered, retreat and rub him, do it again. You just do this for a little while and he'll start to figure it out. Most horses will. Second one is what? Front to back over the top. Good job, Art. Front to back over the top. That's usually the hardest one. If they're sensitive around their head with this, that's going to be challenging for them. Try to get it your swing as parallel as possible to the ground once they can tolerate it. Third one is what? Up and down behind them. Good. Fourth one is up and down by the shoulder and neck right here. So see where the shoulders and neck touch each other? <laughs> I'm going to go up and down right there. Why do I save it till the fourth one? Because they're more reactive to it. So get them used to it over his head, behind him, and then I go right here. But you can see as it's closer to his head, he's more bothered by that, right? But he gets a little bothered. I'm going to retreat to an easier spot. Go back to up and down here, retreat to an easier spot, up and down here. You see how that rhythm, smooth rhythm, helps him start to relax to that flag. Fifth one is front to back along the ground in a ski pole position. So you switch the flag, the position in your hand, the handle, and now you go front to back right here, like this. Good. Switch sides. Let's try this side. And when I change hands with this flag, I do it exactly like I do with the stick, the stick and string. Look how much more relaxed he is now. So we'll go left to right. He's a little bothered by that. Retreat. Left to right. Now front to back. Third is up and down behind him. Up and down, the fourth up and down by his shoulders and neck, or shoulder and neck. Good. And then fifth, ski pole. Beautiful. And I won't work on his head on this side, just for time's sake. 